I'm a grandmother and my life has been changed by them. I can honestly say that I am a completely different person since my grandchildren came into my lives. And for those of you who are grandparents, I want to share with you some incredible quotes that will, that will, I don't know, break, not break your heart, but they will make you realize why this little person in your life is so important. And for those of you who don't have grandchildren, this is really um, a series of quotes about unconditional love because that's what grandchildren give you. Now, I'm a baba, and uh, maybe you're an ona or a grandma or a granny, or uh, you know, there's so many different ways that they talk to you, but they talk to here, they talk to your heart. So um, I wanted to make sure that I uh, share with you these quotes so that you can be inspired and get some perspective on why they're important in our lives. My name is Margaret Manning and I'm with 60 and Me, and uh, I'm just so happy that you're here. Now, I know people watching this are going to be, um, you know, grandparents at all different stages. Some have nine or ten. Maybe you just are the grandmother for the first time. I have three grandchildren. I have an 11-year-old, a 2-year-old, a and a 2-month-old. And my heart has just grown exponentially every time one has entered into my world. So here's some quotes. These are my very favorites. And I'd like you to join with yours at the end too. And also to leave comments on this because I really do think that uh, appreciating the generations and how they move together and how they um, enhance and um, uh, encourage each other to live a better life and for us to make this world a better place, you know, for our, for our children and our grandchildren. It's so important. Anyway, here we go. So this is, um, I'm just going to read these out and then we can, we can chat about them later. But grandchildren give us a second chance to do things better because they bring out the best in us. And I think that is so true. They are just a little embodiment of kindness and, and sweetness and innocence. And they do bring out the best in us. Elephants and grandchildren never forget. That's Andy Rooney. <laughs> and that is the truth. If, uh, it's so funny. My, my son um, has a little game he plays with his grandson, with, with his son, my, my grandson. And every time he shows the um, uh, ice cream, he, he says, white ice cream, Baba. <laughs> And so, yeah, I take him to have an ice cream. Isn't that what Bubba's do? But um, anyway, it's so funny that he says, white ice cream, Bubba. You know, only a couple of times. But anyway, a mother becomes a true grandmother the day she stops noticing the terrible things her children do because she's so enchanted with all the wonderful things her grandchildren do. And that's the shift, isn't it? From being the mom worrying the critic criticizing trying to judge and then just embracing that's lois wise grandchildren are the dots that connect the generation from from generation to generation i love that that particular quote lois wise again grandchildren are the dots that connect the lines from grand from one generation to another generation you know when i was um giving some advice to my grandson i did a video on uh, um, it was financial advice, <laughs> money advice for my grandchildren. And I said, you know, you are my future. So it's so important to me that you make a good start with your finances. So that was like, you know, you are my future. And that's such a powerful thing to think about with your grandchildren. They're going to take your wisdom, your lessons, your, your personality, <laughs> everything that they remember about you into the future. It's really cool. This one's nice. It's an unknown one. But a grandchild fills a space in your heart that you never knew was empty. That's so true. I think Anne Lamott says something similar. You don't even know that what you're missing until you have children. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're not a grandparent, this is just children that you know, children of your friends, nieces, cousins, nephews, people that are younger, that have wisdom that we need to learn from. That's for sure. Your, this is a funny one. Your sons weren't made to like you. That's what grandchildren are for, <laughs> as Jane Smiley. Another one is, do you know why children are so full of energy? Because they suck it all out of their grandparents. Tell me this is the truth. I mean, every time my little guy, little Max leaves my house, it's like, phew. <laughs> but I, I'm willingly giving it. I love it. Another one. If you, had, if you knew, uh, if you'd known how much fun grandchildren were, you would have had them first. <laughs> it's like being able to give them back. But it's at the same time knowing that... Um, you know, you can just be yourself and that somehow that gift is important for them. Just And it's, and it's really the, one of the beautiful things about getting older is that you don't feel so judged by the world. And, and grandchildren and children in general are the, the last ones that will judge you. They'll never say, oh, Baba, your hair looks funny today or Baba, you've got funny fingers or <laughs> whatever. It's like, no, they don't care that my nose is long. They just, they just love me. 
This is another one too, very relevant for this time. Uh, for the sake of our health, our children and grandchildren, and even our economic well-being, we must make pr protecting the planet our top priority. I don't know where you are in that spectrum, but it's it's important that we leave them a good world, leave them a better place. I think the gen this, uh, grandchildren should not bear the debts of our grand of their grandparents. And so that's another thing that we need to be thoughtful of. You know, the world is changing in terms of li living arrangements, lifestyle, uh, purchasing, shared economy, uh, co-living, co-housing, co co all these things that are um, helping us to minimize our possessions, live more with more, live with less, live more, and uh, teach them that, that value. Another one here is, this is a good one by Josh McDowell. You better arm yourself to answer your children's and grandchildren's questions. And no matter what the answer is, not being judgmental. But they're going to ask you all kinds of questions. And my son is already, you know, one of my sons is already having challenges with his with his son asking questions that he's like, whoa, <laughs> where did that come from? But sometimes you just have to answer it and then, then be truthful, but not judgmental. The next one is uh, with your own children, you love them immediately. And with grandchildren, it's exactly the same. And that is the truth. When I met my, my first son for the first time, I thought the universe was in his eyes. And when I met my grandson, his son, for the first time, I melted the same way. I've got goosebumps even thinking about it. Uh, it's magical. Um, and the next one here is the joy of grandchildren is measured in the heart. I taught, I taught my grandchildren how to do that, where they knew where their heart was. And Baba is always there in your heart. I love that thought. This is the last one that I think uh, is, is so precious. And it's if we care about the children, the grandchildren, and the future generations, we need to make sure they're not, they don't become the cannon fodder of the future. And we've got to create a peaceful world for them. We owe it to them to create a peaceful world. We don't want them to have to fight for the freedoms that we have fought for. Um, I know my dad fought all most of his youth for, um, for that. He never got to meet his grandchildren. Um, you know, so it's it's really precious that we create a world that's powerful, that is peaceful, and and it's our it's our we have a chance. It's our job right now to do this. We're the we're the grown ups. <laughs> we can do this. So I I just wanted to share those with you. I hope that you found them very very inspiring. If you're a grandparent, I'd love to know what is your favorite one of the one I just read, the quotes I just read, or do you have a favorite grandparent role um uh, quote? And if, if you don't have one that someone else has said, what would your favorite one be? You can even get a chance to make create your own uh, one right now. But tell us about your experience as a grandparent. I'd love to sh share your quotes and your feelings. And just thank you again for being here and for all the amazing contribution that you make to us. Uh, don't forget with 60 and Me, we have lots of different channels. Check out 60andme.com slash start. And that will tell you everywhere that we are. We have three new sister sites that you might be interested in. She Cruises, which is for women who like to travel and cruise. Uh, we've got Learn to Simplify, which is about simplification, downsizing, co-living, all these house share conversations. And then the third one is retire different. And retire different is all about retiring in a different way, thinking about it differently. It's really amazing articles there that will help you in a practical way uh, to, to build a life for your grandchildren. And it's really important. So uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I do appreciate your time and your, and your love and support and look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Bye-bye for now.